Alrighty. This is a Dearborn, Michigan. Where's BB? Ugh. Cold, rainy. You know how they say the video killed the radio star? Amazon trying to kill Best Buy. <laughs> Amazon killed the radio star. I haven't been in an Amazon store. Last time I was in an Amazon store, hell well just started. Amazon well, store. I mean, uh, Best Buy. What's them computers that used to be at home with the processors when they first came out? What were the computers called when they first came out? Home computers? Right, but they were they had the big box processors. When they oh, those were the big, um, like, desktop. All right, come on. Let's see if it's over here. I think we passed it. Oh, here we go. Somewhere here. But anyway, that's when AOL. Yeah. I was addicted to AOL. It's got to be here, dude. Here we go. It's right here. I think this is it. I think so. Or no, it might be the same one. Yeah. Let's see what that's. Yeah, six hundred. Okay, how much is that? Thirty-six two pack. Okay. Is that six hundred too? Mm, let me see. Yes. Um, is it? Yeah. All right. All right. Let's take some pictures of Polaroid. Even well, not just haunted. Sure make sure put it. Turn it around again. Right here. That's the only thing about Best Buy. Polaroid six hundred. Uh, Colored film. The returns are hard. Yeah. As hell. All right. All right. Let's walk this way a little bit. But yeah, when the computers were. Yeah. Them big boxes. That's what I'm, my next Let's go by the computers real quick. Yeah, because that's going to be my next computer. Yeah. Want a drone? Nah. You got to have a license in Florida. You know, you get caught putting them on YouTube without a license thingy. They Ooh, get you. Get trouble. Yeah. Let's see there. I think that's a whole way. I want the laptop. <laughs> yeah, that's what it was. Towers. <laughs> they first came out. And the AOL that was addicted to it all night long. That is cool. They had a nephew that built his like that. It was see through. That's not power enough. That's not enough power. I'm looking for an I9. Man, shows prices. Mm-hmm. Alrighty. Get more and more expensive. All right, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that was uh, Best Buy. Yep. That was Best Buy right here in Dearborn. All right, let's see where we can get ourselves into trouble on this cold, dreary day. Here we go. Oh, I'm Turn right. Here. You have arrived at your destination. All righty, Dearborn, Michigan. 1946 Guy Guerrero invented the Detroit style pizza square and opened up a buddy's Rendevis. Almost like that place in Memphis. That Rendevis uh, definitely got good name to it. So let's see how good this place is. Alright, 
baby. All right, well, you want the original Detroit style, so you've got plenty to choose from. You've got Sicilian, you've got spicy Italian, Hawaiian, Detroiter. No, just the Detroit style. I'm going to check out the appetizers. Decide. Yeah, that's what we're doing right there. Okay. Hey guys, Alrighty. Yeah, because once we get back to the hotel, I'm not gonna want to leave. Yeah, it's a gloomy it's, day. It's just an ucky, 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 ucky day. Uh, but yep, we're gonna taste the real deal in Dearborn. Right. Yep. <laughs> Detroit's deep dish. You got it. Then everyone else follows. Okay. A lot of big reviews about Little Caesars that Little Caesars has got the Detroit vibe. <laughs> okay. Oh, you know what the other crazy thing is? Is that why. this guy Gus Guerrero, how he came up with the Detroit pizza is that he borrowed his friend's parts pan a pan that collects parts okay and he used those to make the square pizza like the transmission hands then he adds the cheese on the crust so it burns on the side of it and right. some butter or whatever but that's how the Detroit style came was from uh, using part a pan that collects parts. Okay. Hence, Gus Guerrero, this guy, opened up the Buddies, Rendezvous, 1946. Cool. <laughs> All right, BB, that's the mozzarella sticks. Oh, those look good. Yeah. And they also Let's get do the it. ranch dressing. Oh, really? Right there. Mm. Never right. started with ranch. I mean, it's hard to beat the ones in uh, walk ons. Yes. Oh, oh, wow. That's the antipasto salad. That looks really good. All right, tried it with that. Now I'm gonna try it with the. Oh, and that's the small. That's a small. That's the one person, right? That's the small. Stay out. Imagine if we would have got the large. The medium? Yeah. I will say this much. If they charge us different on the credit card, uh -huh. we call this with a discount. You get five out of the tip, I don't care. Try to get them up though. How's it with the other dressing? Mm hmm Good? Got my unsweet tea. I'm gonna give it a try with this. Mm -hmm. It is quite tasty. Look right here. Trying to mix this up here. Do you think that's good? Oh, there we go. This 
sauce is really good here. It's like definitely homemade ish. Plate. This sauce definitely got some sugar in it. You could taste the sugarish flavor. Most Italian sauces does do, do have sugar in it. Alright, there you go. It's like the sweet texture at the end. Nice little area of Dearborn driving through it. Mm -hmm. Weather is definitely was living up to it. We are definitely. This is not weather to be out in today. Uh oh. -uh. It's cold, it's wet, it's raining. Could get a little bit of snow flurries on top of the rain. It's a cold 48, I'll say that much. Car was reading 44. Either way. It's cold. This feels like a Chicago 38. Mm -hmm. It is cold today. And the rain is not helping. No, it's not. There's the marinara. Right there. Last one is yours. Mm hmm Salad is amazing. I like how they dice it up. But they don't have bruschetta here. Mm. And the dough and stuff. It's the Sicilian style and the sauce and everything is from his mother's uh, recipe. There it is, BB. Yep, there it is. All right, see if you can hold that towards you a little bit. Without burning, nope. Is that hot? Okay. Can you get it closer? <laughs> All right, <laughs> don't wait to see. Okay. That is the original deep dish or Detroit, Detroit. Detroit pizza. And you notice how they have the sauce on the top. The cheese on the bottom. Ooh. We are doing it, boy. The originators. We might have take be taking one home, right? Yep. Give me a plate. Thank you. You're welcome. Let me add a little bit of that. But they don't have no oregano. All right. Oh, you getting over the fork? Look at you. You're taking your deep dish. Have you ever had a deep dish? I mean, a real? Yeah. From Michigan? From Michigan. God, excuse me. I like this little thing. That's why when Pizza I Hut think we come out... Steal it. <laughs> when Pizza, come, Pizza Hut come out with it, my dad's like, oh... Tried it and he's like, Yeah, that's not pizza. I mean, I've had Little Caesars, well, good. it's the closest I've come to. I never had the man that invented it and right. created it because I said I've never seen it with the sauce on top. That's good. Oh, that 
Red Sox, which is amazing. How's pizza? Good? Mm -hmm. Good. Perfect. Now when I... had the Chicago deep dish, that was like flying into heaven. I think because I've had this before at Little Caesars, mm -hmm. this is really an amazing pizza here. The sausage and everything, it's light and it's fluffy. It's got a little bit of crunchy and you can taste the garlic on the edge. There's something about the marinara sauce. It's real good. Probably because it's homemade. Mm-hmm. And because it's got that sweetness in it. Mm-hmm. What's the closest you ever had? Little Caesars or you had something around here? I don't, I don't remember where, but I know Dad used to get it. Used to bring home Detroit pizza. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Especially when we look in Dearborn. I mean, I don't mind green olives on my pizza. I mean, I'd rather have green olives on my pizza, but these black olives. You bite into them, they really change the flavor up. You get that. Uh, See, mom and dad used to put everything on it. You know, you get that vinegar oil taste going. I know this is good pizza. Mm -hmm. Now I can say I had a real Detroit style pizza. Yeah. It was crazy because, you know, when he opened it up, Buddy's Rendevis, you think about Rendevis in Memphis, mm -hmm. no one can beat that place. No. And, mm -hmm. and uh, barbecue. No one is beating Rendevis. Are, you really got to be up there because that's the best. I can taste the difference between this one and the Little Caesars. I guess because the sauce is on top and yeah. not in the bottom, makes it, uh, you get a cheesy. You really taste the cheese. Right. When the Little Caesars, don't get me wrong, you want sauce on your pizza. But they, they got a good sauce at uh, Little, Little Caesars. Caesars right there. When you bite theirs, the sauce really pops. Mm -hmm. Over here, it's roll reverse of Jesus. It's right. Just pop. Today is we one of those in, days. We're in the beginning. Today is one of those days where you just need to crawl up in your house, mm -hmm. either watch a really good movie or read a really good book and just cover up and call it a day. Sleep on and off. Uh huh. Now that I may do. <laughs> wow. Evie, you sure you didn't want one? I mean, you want to share? Yeah, we'll share it. That's there's a, no way I would have been able to eat all. That's a punch. 
That's a fudge. <laughs> That's a... <laughs> There's no way I'd have been able to eat that by myself. I can eat this by myself. I'm just asking you, do you want some? Yeah. Here, you have the, my cherry. Mm. I lay my cherry to you. Wow. Mm. It was just a hot fudge sundae? Brownies on the bottom. Oh, because I haven't hit the brownie yet. Or no, that was just a hot fudge sundae. I thought you said it was a brownie. Well, they didn't have a brownie hot fudge sundae or a brownie sundae. I thought I asked for No, you said a hot fudge sundae. Uh -huh. That'll teach me to say that. That's a lot of fudge, buddy. Mm. You don't want it, I'll take it. That fudge is amazing on Ooh, point. That's good. It, it tastes like a warm pudding. Yeah. <laughs> that makes me want to get one by myself. Alright, right now we're at 54.53. And then we're going to see if they add anything. Because if they do, I'm taking away. Alrighty, this place did not charge a fee. Maybe franchise places don't charge fees. And it's just the mom and pop places. This isn't a franchise. Yes, it is, buddy, sis. There's other buddies around in this area here. Oh, okay. I mean, it's not by us or anything, but it is popular over here. A lot of people come here because, I, again, these are the originator. All right, until the next one, guys. Everybody take care. Take care of one another. Take care of yourselves. Bye.